Just worth. I'm sorry for everything. You know, I'm always on the fence whether or not Clint Eastwood has a hidden agenda in his films. Or what do I mean by that? Stay tuned and you'll find out. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's going on, everyone? I want to thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for The Mule. I really do appreciate it. Now, The Mule stars and is directed by Clint Eastwood. I am a fan of Clint Eastwood. I like him in his films as an actor. I think he's a pretty good director. If you've never seen any of the films he's directed before, he's done 15 to 17 to Paris, which came out early this year. It was based on a true story. I thought the film was okay, but the acting was so-so because they had the real-life people re-portraying their roles. He also did Sully with Tom Hanks, American Sniper uh, with Bradley Cooper, who was also in this film, which, of course, we're going to talk about. Jay Edgar, which was okay, and Gran Turismo, which that film pissed me off at first when I saw it in theaters. Um, because the way it dealt with race, but when I realized what he was doing later on in the film, it, it became something um, that I appreciated. But now we have Clint Eastwood in The Mule. And this film right here is inspired by the story of Leo Sharp, a World War II veteran in his 80s, who became the world's oldest and most prolific drug mule for the Sinaloa cartel. Now, when I saw this film, it said that it was inspired by a 90 year old veteran. So I don't know if he was 90 years old or he was 80 years old, but, you know, give or take a decade. I think you get the point of the film. Now, I had high expectations for this when I saw the trailers. Uh, it's nothing that I was anticipating for a long time. I saw the trailers just a number of weeks ago and I was intrigued. I was entertained by the trailers and just wanted to see uh, what this film was about. And I'm glad I did because it was a good film. It, no, actually, it wasn't a good film. It, it was a great film. And I thought Clint Eastwood did a great job in front of the camera and behind the camera. And why is that? Well, I really felt like I got to know uh, Mr. Earl Stone. Now, I said that this film is uh, inspired by Leo Sharp, but in this film, the mule is by the name of Earl Stone. And I really felt like I got a, um, a good sense of knowing who he was and what was important to him. And sometimes what is important to you in the world can make you or break you. And I think in this man's life, it broke him because it really destroyed his family. You got to see that. You got to see uh, his relationship with his daughter, his granddaughter, uh, his wife, or actually his ex-wife and all of his friends and family around. And uh, you really got a sense of what was important to him. And what was important to him wasn't his family. Like, he, he was a horrible father. He was a horrible grand... Well, he was a better grandfather than father, much more. And, you know, he was a horrible husband. But what re really was important to Earl Stone in this film or in his real life was just, you know, getting that acknowledgement from his peers. I mean, you can tell that there was something that happened to him deep back in his past that, you know, brought up some insecurities. And he just had a big, dark hole that he had to feel and you know he felt that hole by getting rewards and acknowledgments and accolades from you know all the townsmen all the people that grew up with him and just you know was in his vicinity I don't know why he wouldn't want to get all that love and compassion from his family but you know it is something that this film put on the forefront to kind of set the tone of the film and you know put everything in stakes and you know let you know what everything is worth and I, I think that's what uh, held it all together you know besides him actually being on the roll. Now, the supporting cast in this film is very thick. Like I said before, it does have Bradley Cooper in this film. It also has Andy Garcia, Michael Pena, and Lawrence Fishburne. We've all heard of them before. We all know that they are fantastic actors. And they did a great job in this film, too. Now, there isn't anything outstanding about their performance. I'm not going to say that they move me here or move me there or they, um, you know, deserve some type of recognition, you know, for a Golden Globe or Oscar. But I will say when I did see them on screen, I did enjoy um, their presence. It, it was just something about them that kind of, you know, set me up in my chair and just kind of let me know, hey, we're in for a good ride. This is a good movie right here with a full star study cast. Something else about Clint Eastwood's performance and his character, Earl Stone, is there was just something interesting that he did letting us know who he was and the characteristics of the person he was trying to portray and that he was kind of innocent 
and uh, I, I said insecure before also just kind of ignorant I don't know if he was just kind of running game on everybody in the film you know but he was just kind of unsure of himself sometimes just really didn't believe that he was in the situation that he could believe be in like oh my god this is happening to me right now okay well I'm just gonna accept it I liked it and it, it just really stood out to me we all know that this film is about drugs. He's moving drugs from El Paso to Chicago. I like the way that was done. While that was done in the film, I like the passage of time. It was smooth. It flowed. It was fluid. It wasn't very hard to follow at all. You kind of got a great idea of where he was going with the drugs and all that good stuff. It was easy uh, instructions to follow. Um, I do like everybody that was in the cartel on the United States side and the Mexican side. Um, it gave you a good sense and good idea of how the drug game works and how important it is to be on time and the schedules that you have to follow. I like how we got to see some of the protocol behind the scenes of the DEA and how they go about their investigations and try to bust people and try to, you know, uh, bring down drug dealers and things like that. It was really intriguing. Um, it gave me a perspective that I've never seen before in the film before. Um, the film was also very funny um, without even trying to be. Um, you know, I can tell that this was really Clint Eastwood's doing with his personality and the way that he always plays with race. Um, and he does with this film. And that's kind of what I meant in my intro as far as, you know, does um, Clint Eastwood have a hidden agenda in his films? Because I hate to bring his personal life into this film because that may not necessarily be fair. But if you look up his political views... Um, in real life and then you compare that to the screenplay and the dialogue that he puts in his films you, you kind of want to understand like what he's up to I don't want to go too dive I don't want to dive too deep into that right now uh, you can look that up for yourself but it's just something that uh, stood out to me um, something else that really did stood out to me is the way he uses white privilege in this film and puts that on the forefront and just shows how people how white people in this country in this world can use their white privilege to get away with things to take advantage of situations or just to get throughout their day now don't get upset with me for saying that because it is true and it is a uh, very apparent in this film you'll just have to see it for yourself but it's something that's blatantly obvious to me and something that I really did appreciate um, there is a good amount of tension in this film I was really wondering you know how he's going to get away with this if he's going to get away I mean it is based on a uh, true story um, with that being based on a true story I like some of the elements that they brought over that they could have just ignored with you know this being inspired by Leo Sharp you know, this gentleman was a uh, horticulturalist, and if you don't know what that is, it's somewhat of a botanist, but it's someone who uses scientific knowledge to cultivate and propagate plants and then uses this knowledge to provide technical information to fruit, vegetable, and flower growers as well as farmers. And that is a plot point that they did use in this film for more character development, um, and it just kind of made Clint Eastwood's uh, portrayal of Earl Stone, of Leo Sharp, in a sense, just stand out even brighter. There really isn't much that I can complain about this film. Um, I pretty much loved everything about it. Uh, the performances was great. Uh, the story was great. The way it was told was great. Um, I like the family dynamic, especially at the beginning where there's some type of barbecue or party. And there's a fallout between family members. And like I said before, it really does set the tone. It really does let you know who Earl Stone was, who Clint Eastwood's character was. And, you know, his impact on the people around him or who supposedly care about him. Um, if I had to rate... Uh, the mule out of a one out of ten i'm going to give this film a nine out of ten yes a nine out of ten um, i thought it was great i really did enjoy it and it's actually one of the better films that i've seen in all of 2018 but if you see the film there is one thing that i would like to know how you feel with clint eastwood's character is he being genuine with his representation of race or is he mocking the oppressed let me know down in the comment section Guys, that is just my opinion. Have you seen The Mule or do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? 
Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. If you don't, that's fine, but you can still subscribe to my channel. You can also look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All that good stuff is right there at the bottom of the screen. And I made it very easy by providing links to all that down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning into my opinion slash review for the mule written not written starring and directed by clint eastwood and before you go don't forget that my name is brennan keith avery and that's just my opinion peace